Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And I think we got big, big breaking news here. This is coming from Light Reading. I'll leave a link to it in the description for you guys to check it out. So I'm going to tie this to T-Mobile. The reason I'm going to tie it to T-Mobile because they are still, at, in terms of network and operations, they still have the largest Nokia footprint as, as a vendor and OEM in the United States. Verizon has moved away from Nokia. They went to Samsung and AT&T moved away from or is moving away from Nokia and they're going all Ericsson. So if the uh, reported talks about a takeover of Nokia's mobile assets, if that gets approved, then T-Mobile would have to go through a wide scale rip and replace of its nokia equipment over to samsung unless i'm just going to throw it out there unless maybe they can strike a deal with ericsson at that point and also go 100 ericsson it's a possibility i'm just putting it out there today the largest part of t-mobile's network is nokia they have struck a good a great relationship with nokia but if this deal goes through, then they would have no choice but to move over to Samsung. And if if Samsung is smart, they would strike a deal with T-Mobile and say, hey, look, we will give you favorable terms and we will 100 percent cover the rip and replace from the Nokia equipment to our Samsung equipment. The deal is valued at 10 billion. Now, it still probably has to go through the regulatory process, gain approval. So for now. T-Mobile will remain with Nokia. I don't want to I don't want to steer you guys in a different direction. T-Mobile is still going to be in Nokia. They will still be Nokia next year. But if this goes through, then we could talk about you know how quickly and and how long it's going to take to rip the Nokia stuff. That's that's T-Mobile's largest vendor today. So I would assume this is going to be a huge task for the Nokia markets to rip it all to 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 uh, to Samsung, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Just I think this is a big story. This this uh, this diminishes uh, competition severely in, in in that space. This would make this would make Samsung the largest vendor in in the world. It, it would make them bigger than Ericsson if this deal closes. So Samsung already has Verizon, which is a Verizon is a huge uh, wireless carrier. And and they're starting to gain traction in other parts of the world, I'm told. So this would give I mean, it, it, it would make Samsung bigger than Ericsson. And we all know Ericsson is a, is a great vendor to have. They have a great performing product. AT&T chose them uh, to be one their one and only vendor which is of course very likely to they got a better financial offering a better deal but we've seen today that ericsson does make a better product over over nokia now samsung has to prove itself right so far so good with with uh on the verizon side um the 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 newer generations of the c-band panels that samsung's producing that are 320 watts i hear those are performing very great the uh the first generation uh they're not they don't do too well but they're not as bad as 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 nokia is, is what i was told you know and, and and i'll leave it at that but i'll leave a i'll leave a link to this in the description so you guys could check it out um will t-mobile be affected by this in, in a bad way uh, it's tough to say right you have to go through a rip and replace even if samsung covers the entire thing you still have to you still have to gather workers you have to get tower crews you have to climb sites again and and maybe you, you use that opportunity to deploy c-band in those markets anyway right you you rip you rip all the um radios that are there you put the newest latest and greatest 5g advanced equipment maybe it gives you that opportunity so it might even turn out as a positive if this does go through but i don't think it'll it'll affect t-mobile too much i think they still do their planning i still think they deploy according to plan no matter what happens because you just you just don't want to stop and halt just because this is happening so they will continue with nokia they will continue deploying nokia equipment they will continue to deploy new sites in nokia areas 
whatever they need to do, they will follow and execute their current strategy. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.